hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be covering an exciting topic when it comes to rabbit farming we are going to be looking at the untold challenges of rabbit farming and how you can overcome them rabbit farming is on a rise right now in the world but just like any other agricultural adventure it comes with its own set of challenges so guys in this video we shall explore these challenges in detail and provide practical examples on to how you can overcome these challenges so guys let's get started one of the common challenges in rabbit farming is disease management just like any other animals rabbits will fall sick managing diseases on the rabbit farm can seem challenging some sometimes so you should expect your rabbits to get sick they will get some respiratory illnesses they may get some foot diseases and any other common diseases but to overcome this it is essential to establish a strong healthy monitoring system so on your farm you should make sure that you have a strong monitoring system that will identify the rabbits that are well and the rabbits that are sick and then proper treatment can be accorded to these rabbits for us here on our farm we have established a routine where we regularly check on our rabbits and sometimes we invite a veterinary officer to come and check on these rabbits to ensure that they are healthy and those ones that are sick are isolated and given the proper treatment to manage this challenge you should make sure that you have that strong health monitoring system on your farm this can be done through regular health checks also you can consult with a veterinary officer the veterinary officer can be able to guide you on some preventive measures that you can apply on your farm to be able to prevent or control most of these diseases the other challenge that you're going to face when you start a rabbit farm or when you go into rabbit farming is going to be maintaining the proper nutrition for your rabbits. Maintaining proper nutrition is so crucial when it comes to rabbit farming. Rabbits need a balanced diet. This may include hay, may include fresh vegetables, also it may include pellets. So for us here on our farm, we generally feed our rabbits on pellets, hay, and sometimes we give them some leafy green grass so ensuring a balanced diet on your farm will help you prevent most of the nutrition challenges on your farm make sure that your rabbits have a combination of different feeds make sure you're feeding your rabbits on hay hay is very important when it comes to rabbit nutrition because hay will improve the dental health of your rabbits it will also help to keep the rabbits engaged as they will keep chewing on this hay that is put in their cages. Then when it comes to feeding and nutrition of rabbits, you should look out for overfeeding of your rabbits. Overfeeding can lead to obesity and other health issues when it comes to rabbit farming. But also if you are underfeeding your rabbits, they can be malnourished on our farm we generally rear our rabbits for meat production so we ensure that our rabbits receive appropriate protein content in their diet so when we are feeding our rabbits we shall make sure that we are giving them feeds that have a high content of protein we have established our schedule we feed our rabbits in the morning then midday and then late in the evening but we also keep her in the cages of the rabbits so they can keep feeding on this hay through the night. So that is our feeding schedule on our farm. Make sure that you establish a feeding schedule on your farm and you keep on it. Do not change your feeding schedule of your rabbits all the time. Because this is going to cause you a lot of problems when it comes to the nutrition and the health of, of your rabbits. If you have created a schedule for your rabbits, to feed at a specific time, the rabbits will be expecting the feeds at that specific time. 
So when you regularly change your feeding schedule, it will greatly affect the nutrition of your rabbits. Then the third challenge that you are going to encounter will be in regard to the breeding and reproduction of the rabbits. Breeding and reproductions when it comes to rabbit farming can tend to be tricky sometimes. So proper knowledge about the breeding cycle of your rabbits and understanding when to mate your rabbits is very crucial when it comes to rabbit farming. One of the challenges that farmers encounter is finding it hard to plan the mating period for their rabbits and the reproduction cycle of their rabbits. This is going to determine the number of rabbits you have on the farm. So it is going to determine the overall population of your rabbits on the farm. It is also going to dictate the number of cages or housing structures that you have on your farm. So if you're allowing your rabbits to reproduce at a high rate, then you're going to have to build a lot of cages. This can sometimes be a challenge to especially new farmers who are just starting that may not have a lot of cages or structures to house these rabbits. So controlling the reproductive cycle of your rabbits is very crucial when it comes to rabbit farming. Then also assuring that the pregnant does receive adequate care and nutrition is also a challenge. So for this, you have to provide a nesting box where they will give birth from. Also, once the kids are born, you must monitor their health and growth closely. Also, they will need different kinds of attention and diet as they grow. The other challenge that farmers will face when it comes to rabbit farming is the housing and the space to start their rabbit farm. So when it comes to housing, you have to assure that your structures are well constructed, they are well ventilated, they are safe, they can be able to protect your rabbits from predators and harsh weather conditions. And also you should assure that these cages have enough space the rabbits are able to move around freely and exercise. As you can see on our farm, we have applied this. We have been able to build strong cages that can be able to protect our rabbits from predators. They have been built under a structure which protects these rabbits from harsh weather condition. And they are spacious enough that allows our rabbits to move around and exercise. And if your cages are spacious enough, you can be able to hold a pair of rabbits within the same cage. So this will also help you in controlling the population on your farm in that you can be able to house two rabbits within one cage. Then the other aspect of this is we have been able to use a wire mesh. This wire mesh down and on the side will provide protection to our rabbits, but will also help when it comes to cleaning of our cages. In that, the rabbit droppings will just fall through and also the urine of the rabbits will also fall through. So this makes cleaning our cages on the farm very easy, which also helps when it comes to disease prevention on the farm. The other challenge you're going to encounter as a rabbit farmer is trying to market and sell your products on the farm. So let me say you are a meat producer or you are a fur producer or you're rearing your rabbits and selling them as pets. Finding that market for your rabbit products is sometimes challenging. One of the ways you can conquer this is developing a market plan for your rabbit farm. So here you're going to look at creating different relationships with local farmers, local restaurants, local markets. You can also explore online platforms where you can sell these products from. Also as a farmer, you can look at diversifying your product line. So if you're producing meat, you can choose to process this meat and sell it when it is processed. This will help bring in new customers to your farm and you can be able to utilize that market space also. The other challenge you're going to face when it comes to rabbit farming is the finances. 
To enter into rabbit farming, you will need some kind of finance to be able to start. Because everything that is used on the farm will need some sort of financing. To build cages, you will need to buy materials to build these cages. You may need to hire someone to be able to build for you these cages if you don't know how to build them. You may need to hire a veterinary officer to always come and check on your rabbits. So you will need some kind of finance. And sometimes this poses a challenge if you don't have this red on finance with you at that moment. To minimize the risk of this is that when you're going to start, always make a budget, have a financial plan, come up with estimates, what you're going to incur on, let me say, building your cages, getting good breeds of rabbits, and any other expenses that you may incur in respect to this farm. This will help you to come out with a well thought out plan to be able to manage and control these costs on your farm. Some of these costs can be avoided and can be controlled. For example, when it comes to feeding, you can make your own hay at home. Then also you can feed your rabbits on some leafy green grass that you can just pick from your garden. So you can see how to minimize and manage these costs to be able to fit into the budget that you have. The other challenge that you will face when it comes to rabbit farming, and this is commonly faced by new rabbit farmers, is that the type or the quality of breed to choose to rear on your, on your farm. Sometimes when we enter into rabbit farming, we do not know which types of breeds we should rear on the farm. We have not identified the objective of the farm so we don't know why we are starting the farm. So in that regard, you are not able to select the breeds that will suit the purpose of starting your farm. Now, let us say that you're starting your rabbit farm for meat production. There are those breeds of rabbits that are generally reared for meat production. So in this case, you have to do that research. Make sure that you know, you know the types of breeds that you should rear on your farm that will help you achieve the objective why you have started that farm. So sometimes choosing the breed can seem to be a challenge when it comes to new rabbit farmers. But also this, you can be able to, to mitigate this by consulting from, from seasoned rabbit farmers. These farmers will have the experience they will have the know-how and they will be able to tell you the different kinds of breeds that you can rear on your farm. So guys, that is it. So guys, what I can tell you is that rabbit farming will come with its own challenges. But having the right knowledge, dedication and support, you can be able to overcome this. All these successful farmers you have seen, with big rabbit farms, they have been able to conquer these challenges. So with the right knowledge, with the right research, you can also be able to manage and mitigate these challenges if you want to go into rabbit farming. Remember, success in rabbit farming comes with experience and commitment to continuous learning. So you should always seek knowledge on how you can better improve your rabbit farm. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for joining us today. And as always, if you have any other question or any other topic that you want us to cover, please leave your comment in the section below. And I will see you in the next video.